Okay, so why export variables? Let's open up a terminal and let's create a couple of variables. So the first one we're gonna call A and that's gonna equal a string and let's just say the string is this is A. And the second one is gonna be B. And again, let's just say this is B. So if we echo out these two variables, so echo, echo dollar A, we get this as A, and echo dollar B, we get this as B. So let's write a script that does exactly this. So I'm just gonna use Vim, but you can use whichever editor you want. And let's call the script foo. And all we're going to do is we're going to echo dollar A, and we're going to echo dollar B, and just save that. And let's make it executable. So ch mod uh, u plus x, and the name of the file, which is foo. So now if we execute that, so dot slash foo, we get two blank lines. So if we use the built-in export command, so export, and let's export variable A and hit enter, and now rerun our script, you'll see that we get this is A. And the same if we export B, we'll now get this is A and this is B. So exporting a variable makes it available to a child script or a child process. We can also export functions and let's create our function. So func and then two parentheses space, open our squarely brackets and let's just say echo this is func and just close off that line with a semicolon and close off our function with a closing curly brace and hit enter. So now if we type in func, we get this is func. So let's add that to our foo script. So vim foo, and let's just shoot to the end of this and just say func. And if we run our foo script again, so dot slash foo, you'll see that func is not a command. So let's export it. So export dash f because it's a function and the name of the function, which is func. So now if we rerun our script, it echoes our two variables and it now runs our function. We can list all of the variables and functions that have been marked for exporting using the p flag. So export dash p and you get a long list of all of the variable names and function names that have been marked for export. Now you may notice this declare dash x before all of these variable and function names. So what that actually does is exactly the same thing as export. So let's use one of the other flags for export to remove our a variable from being exported. So export dash n and a. So now if we run export dash p and scroll right to the top, you'll see that it's no longer there, but our B variables there. And this time let's just use declare with the X flag and our variable name. So that was A and hit enter. And if we use export dash P and then just scroll that right to the top, you'll see that our A variable is now being exported again. We can also use declare with the plus X flag to remove a variable from this list. So let's just do that with B. So declare plus X B and you have to spell it correctly. So declare plus X B and let's just export dash P to get that long list again. And let's just scroll that up to the top and you'll see that B has been removed. So we've still got A, but B has been removed. So that's basically how export works. And I hope you found this useful and thanks for watching. Goodbye.